YouTube. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And the topic of discussion today is fire pits. Right? Bet you're wondering why I got this little fuzzy hat on. Whatever. Just copped it in Georgia. Um, but anyway, it says San Francisco 49ers on there. Well, it says San Francisco. And I'm rocking it for my 49ers. Hopefully they beat uh, New Orleans today. It's Sunday. Football's on. Actually, what's the score? Yeah, 2018. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna burn this head after the day. But anyway, um, let's talk about fire pits, right? I know this is a barbecue channel, but guess what month it is? November. And what does that mean for people in America? It's starting to get chilly, even down in Florida. Um, probably up north, maybe New York. It's probably cold as hell. But anyway, um. What better way to cook barbecue than sit by a fire pit, right? So I just happened to be in Pensacola last week, and I hit up my main guy, uh, Tyler, at uh, Shirley Fabrication. Right? If y'all don't know them guys, man, Google them. Shirley Fabrication, they got a Facebook page. Got a website, awesome, actually. Um, those are the guys that built my smoker, Big Bertha. The big uh, 24 by 60 with the, uh, the fryer on there. They built that with the insulated firebox. So... Long story short, I hit him up last minute. I'm like, hey man, can you do me a favor? Can you build me a fire pit? He was like, sure, no problem. It'll take me uh, about a day or two. And I gave him uh, um, my name and my logo. I was trying to get my logo put in, but being his last minute, wasn't able to do that. But I'm going to show you the video of my um, fire pit in use. And I'm going to show it to you all. Uh, after I used it, just so you can see it up close during the daytime. So uh, on that note, here we go. What's up, YouTube? You see it. Shout out to them boys at Shirley Fabrication, Tyler, for the hookup. You see it. Got the got the team name in there. Let me see if you can see it. Backyard. Barbecuer. Yep. Move my little stoke out of the way. Or whatever. Yup. Off the chain. Hey, it's starting to get cold. You can't get man. Anyway, you can't have a a good barbecue if you don't have a fire pit going. Or old school method. Y'all know what one of them is. Burn barrel. That thing they're retired now. But I got the new one. Once again, shout out to Shirley Fabrication for fabricating my new uh, fire pit. Got backyard barbecue. You can see it on the other side. Got the same name, just so uh, anybody sitting down know who and what's going on back here. But anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Peace. All right, y'all. This is my fire pit. You can see I got some wood over there. Um, it says backyard barbecue for those who you to having to kill or whatever. That's paper, whatever left over, uh, paper and wood I was burning. Using some of my doggone cherry wood over here, you can see, to start my fire. Um, this is a picture of my old beat up one. Retired, rest in peace. And here's the uh, the drum uh, or, the, or the barrel that you can actually make a grill out of. I don't know, man, maybe somebody hit me up. You're local, I'll actually give it to you, whatnot. Anyway. And some of my wood maple. So if you're starting a fire and you want some wood to burn, now this maple wood right here that I got because my neighbor cut down a maple tree. If you want some of this wood right here, this wood is awesome for a fire. The only catch is you have to have a good bed of coal and your fire already started because it uh show you the other side. Same thing, just got the name on both sides. So you can see it when the fire when the fire is burning, you you see the name lit up, whatnot. But they made this same day, like I said. Shout out to them guys at Shirley Fab. Man, they the truth. But yeah, back to this wood. This wood right here will burn all night. If I take one of these stumps and put it in here, and I got a good bed of coal, I don't have to put no more wood on there because this thing will burn all night because it's just that slow burning. I thought it would be good for, uh, I have some smaller pieces. I thought it would be good for cooking meat, but I just don't like the taste of it, of uh, maple. So that's another fun fact for the day. Um, that type of uh, uh, wood sucks when it cook, comes to cooking food. But anyway, that's a fire pit, man. Um, tell me what you think. All right, we're back, YouTube. 
And uh, comment below, man. You got to tell me what you think about my newly designed fire pit, man. Got one use on it. Got to go out there and clean the ashes up here in a minute, man, because I don't want rain to run off. Uh, rain in it. Um, if you could look in the fire pit, you probably see some paper and stuff. I was burning out the junk mail that they sent me in the mail. Um, whatever. I'll, actually, I used that junk mail to start the fire so I could use the wood. And uh, like I said in, in, in the video you just saw, that maple wood, I got a whole truckload of it from a neighbor um, about a year ago. So you can see that wood has been sitting out there for about a year because I just couldn't burn it. I bought it. Actually, I bought it. I didn't buy it. I picked it up, saw the city cutting the tree down for or whoever she had uh, uh, cutting the tree down. They would just put it to the road. So free wood, you know what I did. Pulled my truck up and loaded up as much as I could. Brought it to the house. Didn't taste good uh, on the meat. Uh, it just didn't give, give a, a funky flavor, um, a scent, period. So it may not even been the meat. It was just I didn't like the smell of the wood when it was burning. Uh, that wood burn all night long, but you gotta have a good bed of coal. Anyway, I just mentioned that in the video. Uh, let's see, but yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think about my fire pit. Got my business name in there or my YouTube channel name in there. Um, that's what I believe in, because everybody do backyard barbecue, whether you want to admit it or not. Everybody sit in the backyard or at somebody's house and just fire the grill up with whatever they got in, in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm here to bring you, whatever I got in the refrigerator. Um, Upcoming. What's what's coming up? Oh, before I even get to that, I showed a little clip. I tried to record while I was there after I thought about it, but I was like, eh, whatever. So I did about a little 40, 40 second clip, man, just showing uh, they new warehouse uh, in the backyard and, and uh, some of the projects they was working on. Um, excuse the video because I wasn't really focused on recording it. Then wasn't thinking about, hey, this is a prime opportunity to share this with uh, 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 my YouTubers. But uh, I just shot something. So if you want to see what they do, you can see uh, 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 one before it's used. Definitely got a picture of the, uh, the, the specs on it, whatnot. Tell me what you think about that. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's that big because that's the straight back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, I got the curve on mine. Yeah. Painted this one today. That's Alex's worst name. Fucking clean, man. Hey, this insulated fire box? This insulated fire box? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. Same setup. <clears throat> it's just at some point I'm gonna end up coming back to get another basket for it. Cause you know the basket gonna be the first thing to go on. Don't ask me prices, because their prices have changed, man. They have become so popular in America, man. People driving Ohio. I seen a guy from New York there um, picking up a grill as I was speaking uh, to the guy. But anyway, them guys do awesome work, man. Their prices vary depending on who you are, um, what your status is, if they like you or not, uh, et cetera, right? It's a business, so, you know, obviously, they do things custom, and uh, they go from there. So shout out to them guys at Shirley. Uh, fabrication met Paul again, man. Cool dude, man. It's a funny dude, man. Uh, he was actually upset because his wife won a fire pit, and uh, his son made one that day. And he was like, "Hurry up and get that fire pit out of here because my wife want me to build one and I ain't built one yet." So I don't know. Maybe my fire pit will make it his Facebook page or whatever. But anyway, shout out to them guys. Show number love to me, man. You know, well, you know, as long as I'm spending my money, anybody show you love, right? But no, nah, them guys cool, man. Love them to death. Um, cool people, good people, man. If you're willing to drive to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Anyway, um, upcoming, what I got upcoming? Uh, be on the lookout for my video on brining a turkey. That should be coming here in. Hey, how you doing? Um, that's one of my neighbors walking with her uh, pit bull. Ain't that crazy? Anyway, um, and he coming back this way. So if I shut the video off, you would know that uh, I ain't trying to get bit. But uh, anyway, all right, he cool, he going. A pit bull ain't on a leash, that's scared. Anyway, um, yeah, turkey brine. It's coming up on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna show you guys how to brine a turkey. I cooked the turkey uh, um, yesterday or whatnot. And I shoot, I upload the video. I do the brine, turkey brine, I upload that video on Wednesday. It's Sunday, and I'm gonna upload this so y'all can see this today. Um, 
just because I want y'all y'all take on what my fire pit looks like. So comment below, tell me what you think about my fire pit, man. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'll upload the, the turkey brine video come Wednesday. Um, and then I'll upload the cook for the turkey on, on Sunday. Try to upload my videos twice a week if I have enough on uh, Wednesday and Sunday, or if not, once a week on one of them days or whatnot. So be on the lookout every Wednesday and Sunday. Hopefully I can get something to you. If not, I'm sorry, I do work for a living. You know, this is just recreational for me. So, um, outside of that, turkey and the turkey brine, what else I got coming up? Eh, off the top of my head, oh, t-shirts and stuff like that. Going through a company right now to see what kind of um, quality they can do for my t-shirts, man. Hopefully I can get something uh, on video so y'all can see my logo and then y'all can tell me what y'all think about it, printing on shirts and, and uh, hats and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to cook some uh, beef short ribs too. I'll upload that video maybe in a week or so. Somebody asked me to do uh, beef ribs. I'll do that. I ain't forgot you. I always get back to my, uh, my uh, subscribers on what they request. So I'm going to definitely do some beef ribs intact. But my wife bought some beef short ribs. So I'm going uh, to season them up. Show y'all that process in that video too. So that's upcoming in the near future. Maybe in um, maybe the following Wednesday after I upload the turkey and the turkey brine. Uh, the turkey cook and the turkey brine. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, another thing. Oh yeah. And I promise y'all I'm going to start the uh, BBQ time um, um, station. And it's just talking about questions y'all asking me. Because y'all ask a lot of questions. Right? And I'd like to give you an answer. But I, you know, I think other people would like to hear it too so be on the lookout for that and tell me what you think about this fire pit so without further ado this is mr b from backyard barbecue telling you what's going on showing you my fire pit showing you uh the day in the life of mr b um and we're gonna do the thing man we're gonna we're gonna make it big together all y'all oh last thing before i do my last shout out i'm at 197 subscribers man Getting there, getting there. Remember, I was at 100. I did a giveaway. My next one is at 250, man. So I need 53 subscribers, man. Tell all your friends, share my videos, man. Because if you share a video and you know 100 people, and one of those people share it to the 100 people they know, that's how I get the name out there for Backyard Barbecue, man. Then maybe I can afford a, a, a real video editor so I can get some good quality. But if not, man, I'm just giving you what I got. Just shooting this on my little iPhone. Um, and go from there, man. I got my tripod, so no, you don't see my wife out here. She's happy. Uh, you might hear her coming in the background talking noise because that's what we do, right? Love, love my wife, man. Um, but anyway, outside of that, that's pretty much it. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I let your boy.